Well, I just want to start by thanking you for taking time out of your busy schedule to do this interview. Sorry, I'm a little nervous. I've got a couple quick questions. How long have you been studying and researching kids' entertainment? Pretty much my whole life. So you, you're an expert. I'm 12 years old. I've put in way more than 10,000 hours. <sighs> yes, indeed. It, what have you been researching lately? Currently, I have been researching the viewer retention span of gospel-centered content primarily dealing with the epistemological exploration of the answers to all of life's most essential philosophical and theological questions regarding one's identity, origins, meaning, morality, and destiny. Ah, yes. Um, so you're saying... In short, God's answers to life's biggest questions. I think I'm following now. Uh... And what have you discovered in your research so far? There are three main problems I see relating to gospel-centered content and its effective reach towards kids. Ah, yes, please do extrapolate. I determined that there is a massive dichotomic partition between the seemingly oppositional worlds of entertainment and substance. This needs not be. Y yes, indeed, I could not agree more. I think I'm following. Most popular movies and kids' shows do entertainment really, really well, but not surprisingly, lack a Jesus-centered worldview. Ingratiatingly so. Conversely, Bible-based kids shows often lack creative excellence and viewer engagement. Or, when attempting to be more entertaining, they lose the truth of the message. Kids and parents are thus forced to choose between engaging, but empty entertainment, or true but boring Bible-based programs. In, in, indubitably. For our unscholarly viewers, simply put... Simply put, when it comes to entertainment, Viewers have to choose between the style or substance. Style or substance ingratiatingly, indubriously. Uh, what's the second problem that you've identified? The second problem is that oftentimes, Bible-based kids shows simply spoon-feed kids the answers in a very dry manner without letting them discover on their own. It's often just about memorization, Bible stories, or facts. This can lead to shallowness or lack of ownership. These shows are very good at what I call theology dumps, but lack inviting kids to participate and learn on their own. So instead of inviting kids on a journey of discovery, they just relay information. Right, it's more presentation than it is an engaging story. That makes sense. So the first problem to summarize, style versus substance. The second problem, theology dumps and information versus an invitation to discovery. What's the third problem you see with kids' entertainment? Yes, the third problem is the ideology of individualism. Ah, uh, yes, the genealogy of invisibilism. I'm sorry, the what? The belief that the answers are found by looking exclusively in yourself. Yet Jesus calls us to look at him rather than at ourselves and a journey with others in community. Wow, I should have been taking notes. It's simple, really. In order to reach kids effectively, a Jesus-centered show needs to be entertaining and substantive. The storytelling must cultivate curiosity, not just simply present answers. It needs to foster a community that brings kids outside of themselves and ultimately looks to God's word for the answers. <sighs> <laughs> that is seriously great advice. Okay, I've got this crazy idea just brimming over. Hear me out for a second. What if there was a kid's show that didn't choose between excellent, engaging entertainment and exploring God's truth, but combined the music and virtue of Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood with the outdoor explorations and nature adventures of Steve Irwin Crocodile Hunter, along with the brainy Bible-based, gospel-grounded goodness of The Bible Project? It could be called Mr. Crocobible Hunter's Neighborhood Project. Too wordy. Oh, okay, I'm just thinking off the top of my head here. It's a work in progress. I'm sure you'll think of something. Yeah. Oh my, thank you so much for your time. This was an incredibly helpful interview. I've got a lot of information and inspiration now. Thank you for having me. Keep working on that title. Yeah, will do. Um, oh, oh, what about Mr. Neighborhood Bible Hunter's Crocodile Project? <sighs> Think. Think. There's got to be a better kid's show name. <laughs>